Welcome to our partial products multiplication video. Please make sure that you have your recording sheet so that you can write down your definitions and use this video to help you with your homework. As always, if you have any questions, please contact your teacher. Vocabulary, product. This is the answer to a multiplication problem. A factor, this is one or two, one of two or more numbers that are multiplied to get a product. So, a product would be 6 times 2 equals 12. This is your product. Factor, 6 times 2 equals 12. These are your factors that you can multiply. Factors can be two-digit numbers or single-digit numbers. So write this down exactly how it is on your homework. Let's do three and four digit by one digit. We've done two digit by one digit, so let me show you how to do three digit by one digit. So first you do the ones place times the ones place. So six times seven is 42. And then you carry your four, which means I'm really carrying 40 over, but I'm just putting a four there instead of 40. Then I'm gonna go six times two, which is 12, plus four is eight, Six times two is 12 plus four is 16. And I'm gonna write down the six and I'm gonna carry the one. Then I'm gonna go ones place times the hundreds place. So you just keep going. You keep multiplying this bottom number by everything on the top. So six times three is 18 plus one is 19. So my answer is 1,962. So that's pretty much how you do any one digit by multiple digits. You multiply this number times every number on the top. And if I had two digits, I would do this number times everything on the top. So you have to do ones times everything on the top. And then if you had something in the tens place, you would do tens times everything across the top. Okay, so let's do this next one. Once you get the hang of it, it really becomes pretty easy. Three times three, well, that's nine. I don't have anything to carry over here, so I'm not going to put anything in there over here. I'm just going to multiply. 4 times 3, which is going to be 12, and I'm going to write down the 2, and then I do actually have something to carry. Then I'm going to do 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. So my answer is 1,629. Now I'm going to go 1 digit by 4 digits. So... 4 times 9 is going to be 36. I'm going to write down the 6 and carry the 3. 4 times 1, well, that's pretty easy. That's 4. Plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I do 1s times 1s, 1s times 10s. Now it's 1s times 100s. 7 times 4 is going to be 28. I'm going to write down the 2. And I, sorry, I'm going to write down the 8 and carry the 2. Now again, when I did 4 times 1 plus 3, there was nothing to carry over here. So I didn't carry anything over. But now there is, so I am going to carry something over. 4 times 3 is going to be 12 plus 2 is 14. So my answer is 14,876. Again, I'm going to go 1s times 1s. That's going to be 48. Carry the 4. 7 times 8 is going to be 56 plus four is going to be 60, and then I'm going to carry the six. Eight times one, that's pretty easy. That's going to be eight plus six, it's gonna be 14. So I'm gonna write down the four and carry the one. Eight times two is 16, and then plus one is going to be 17. So my answer is 17,408. Let's look at this word problem. First, I'm going to read it through. The Turner family uses 548 liters of water per day. The Hill family uses three times as much water per day. How much water does the Hill family use per week? So I'm going to write, I'm going to write my question in a statement. The Hill family uses blank water per week. So, the Turner family uses 548, and I'm going to say uses blank liters of water. So, the Hill family uses blank liters of water per week. 
Well, I know the Turner family uses 548 liters of water per day. The Hill family uses three times as much water per day. So if I do this as a strip diagram, I'm going to do three, and I'm going to do 548, 548, 548, because the Hill family uses three times as much, and I don't know what that equals. So it's going to be 548 times three. So eight times three, we know that that is going to be 24. Carry the two. Four times three is going to be 12 plus two, 12, 13, 14. Carry the one. Five times three is 15 plus one is 16. I'm not done yet, though, because it says the Hill family uses blank liters of water per week. This is how much the Hill family uses per day. I need to find out per week. So I know that there are seven days in a week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to put 1,644 per day. This is per the seven days of the week. And then I'm going to do 1,644, and I'm going to do that times seven days a week. Seven times four, that's 28. Carry the two, 28, 29, 30. Six times seven is 42, 43, 44, 45. Seven times one is seven, plus four is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So my answer is going to be 11,508. So the Hill family uses 11,508 liters of water per week. Let's go ahead and get into a practice problem of breaking down um, with partial products. So if I have 38, I know I can break 38 into 30 and 8. 27 can be broken into 20 and seven. And then I'm going to set up my problem. This is going to be 38, 30, and eight. So I just put the number 38 here. I just broke it up into the tens and the ones. Then here, I'm going to do 20 and seven. Okay. So I have 27 and 38. I'm going to do 30 times 20, and that answer is going to go in this box. So 3 times 2 is 6, and then there's two zeros, so I'm going to put those at the end. Then I'm going to do 30 times 7. Well, 3 times 7 is 21, then I'm going to put a zero at the end. Then I'm going to do 8 times 20. That's 8 times 2 is 16, and then I put a zero at the end. And then last, I'm going to do 8 times 7 which is going to be 56. Now you're probably wondering, what do I do with all of these? Well, I'm gonna add them. 600 plus 210, that's gonna be zero, one, six, seven, eight. That's 810. I'm gonna do 160 plus 56, that's gonna be six, and then that's gonna be 216. 810, plus 216, 6, 2, and 10. So my answer is going to be 1,026. And that's 38 times 27, breaking it down. Let's do another one. 54, I can break that down into 50 plus 4. 42, I can break that down into 40 plus two. Okay, so I'm going to write 54, and then I'm going to write 40 and two. I'm going to do this times this. So five times four is going to be 20, and then I'm going to put these two zeros at the end. Even though it has a zero, I'm still going to put the two zeros at the end. Then I'm going to do this one times this box and it's going to, or this number and it's going to go in this box. So that's going to be 100 because that's like many. 50 plus 50 is 100. 4 times 4 is 16. And then I'm going to put one zero on the end. And then 4 
times 2 is going to be 8. So now I'm going to add everything together. So this is 20 with the two zeros on the end. So I'm going to put 2,000 plus 100. That's pretty easy. That's 2,100. 160 plus 8 is going to be 168. And then I'm going to do 2,100 plus 168. That's 8, 6, 2, and 2. So my answer is going to be 2,268. So 54 times 42 is going to be 2,268. Let's do our second to last example, 63. I'm going to break that down into 60 and 3. 75 is going to be broken down into 70 and 5. So I'm going to write 60 and 3 and 70 and 5. So if I have 6 times 7, that's going to be 42, and then I'm going to put two zeros on the end. 60 times 5, well, that's 30. Put one zero on the end because 6 times 5 is 30, and then I put this zero on the end right here. 3 times 7 is 21, and then I'm going to put a zero on the end. 3 times 5 is 15. Then I'm going to add my numbers. 4,200 plus 300 is going to be 4,500. 210 plus 5, you could, 15, sorry, you could really do that in your head, is going to be 2000, or 225. And then I'm going to add 4,500 plus 225, 5, 2, 5, 6, 7, so that's 4,725. So 63 times 75 is going to be 4,725. That's my answer to that problem. Let's break down this last one. I've got 80 and 9, and then I have 10 and 4 for 14. So I'm going to put 80 and 9 and 10 and 4. Eight, 80 times 10, well, 8 times 1 is 8, and then I'm going to put two zeros on the end. 8 times 4 is 32, and I'm going to put the one zero from this problem on the end. 9 times 10, that's easy, that's 90. 9 times 4 is 36. So I'm going to do 800 plus 320. That's 0, 2, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then I'm going to do 90 plus 36, 6, and that's going to be 12. And then I'm going to do 1,020 plus 126, 6, 4, 2, and 1. So that's 1,246. So 89 times 14 is going to be 1,246. Please watch this as many times as you need to, and feel free to ask your teachers if you have any questions, or you can come to one of their workshops if you have any questions. I hope this video helps you, and please come to us and ask if you have any questions, and make sure that you are breaking your problem down like this. Don't try to do a three stack and add it three times on the side or four times. Break it down by two, these two boxes plus these two boxes and add the total. Have a great evening.